The history is there have been more pitching breakdowns in the first month of this season in spring training than in any year prior. There are now 10 major league pitchers within a month have had to have elbow surgery. There are 22 total minor league pitchers, major league pitchers that, who were in camps had to have surgeries. Major League Baseball is, is trying to put together a comprehensive medical study. They want the Players Association to join them and sign off on it to get the data why this is happening. Justin Verlander has spoken about it. John Smoltz, who does the games on TBS, the great pitcher, he has just spoken about it. The union is saying something that makes no sense at all. The pitchers and the, and the club officials are really concerned. Everybody is seeking velocity. Everybody wants 100-mile-an-hour arms. And because of the velocity and the enormous pressure they're putting on shoulders and ligaments, and because of the adaption of the sweeper, which is a really hard slider curve, the wear and tear factor on the ligaments and the elbow, these ligaments are exploding. Smoltz and Verlander said, this, this is all based on everybody wants 100 mile an hour arms and everybody's, every pitcher is trying to get the big payday. So he's going to go to deliveries that are going to cause these kind of damages. It's a, it's a huge issue. I did some research here as part of the survey, uh, major league survey in 2023, just last season, John, 35% of all pitchers on major league rosters, 35% had already had this surgery. Whoa. In 2024, as I just alluded to, we got all these pitchers who are broken down at the major league level and hot prospects that were in camps were broken down. In a category of fastballs, 15 years ago, the top fastballs in the major leagues averaged 90. Today, top fastballs average 94. 100 mile an hour pitchers, in 2015, there are only 31 guys that clocked 100 miles an hour. This year, there's 64 already that have clocked over 100. So I, I, I tend to believe totally what Smoltz and Verlander are saying, that the pitchers are seeking velocity so they can have big paydays, and the pitchers are trying to develop the violent action on slurves, etc., because that'll make them more dominating. And the end result that you and I have talked about the shoulders and the elbow ligaments can't hold up to that wear and tear. The union is standing across the street saying, it's the pitch clock, your pitch clock, forcing these guys to go max effort every 18 seconds has, has caused all this. And the MLB and the MLB team doctors and John Smoltz say, no, not at all. It's got nothing to do with 18 seconds between pitches compared to 20 seconds between pitches. Tony Clark's pissed off because they did not have veto power on rule changes. And now he's trying to use all this as a shield. At the end of the day, it's velocity and it's the sweeper. And I don't know how you can outlaw that except the pitchers in their heart and their heads, John. I'm of the opinion, have to decide I'm not going to adopt those pitches because it'll hurt my career my, and my career. Wow. Your response. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on here. The pitch clock, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. But I hear people talking about that as part of the problem. Don't you remember back, like, I don't know, when I was a kid, no one threw 100 miles an hour. I mean, maybe Nolan well, Ryan. Well, with the exception of Nolan Ryan. Yeah, he and they had those old jugs guns out there behind the plate. And it was rare to hear. I mean, when they said 100 miles an hour, everyone's like, you know, oh, my God. And now it happens all the time. I mean, it wasn't. That long ago, was it maybe 15 years ago that Aroldis Chapman was at Petco and um, and he was hitting 104, 105, 106 and the crowd was going crazy. Yeah, things have really, really changed. But, you know, back in the day, how long did uh, Nolan Ryan pitch? He had a long career, a reasonably healthy career. And now these guys could be blown out and be done in a couple of years. Yeah. You look at the Atlanta Braves, the big three, you know, John Smoltz, Tom Glomard and Craig Maddox. The number of starts they made, the number of innings they pitched. And Smoltz was the only one, because he was a hard thrower, he had velocity. He was the only one that had arm problems. But those guys weren't throwing these types of pitches, where everybody mm -hmm. wants 100 miles an hour, and everybody wants this wicked stuff that breaks. Uh, I don't know how baseball's going to – they can't outlaw. It has to come from the pitcher's decisions that I'm not going to try to do that because it will damage my career, shorten my career, might even end my career. And who wants to sit out 16 months – uh, lose that segment of the middle of your career to rehab from this type of surgery. It's a it's a monster, monster big story. So